the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ebro, Laura, and Rosenberg. And on the line, Charlotte Flair. What's happening? Ow. Hey. hey. How, How are, are you? you? Look at you glowing. Good Look morning. at that. Glowing. I like the I like this like beige sort of business suit situation. Is this a champion's look? A, a business she means mother effing Always. business. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yes. You know uh this Saturday at Madison Square Garden, the road to WrestleMania has a big stop at MSG. Mm. There are a few tickets left. And you can see uh Charlotte, you have a tag match. It's you and my my good friend Sonia Deville against Naomi and Rhonda, huh? Yes, rematch. Wait, that's Rhonda Rousey. Yep. Oh, yes, Ebro. Charlotte and Ronda are officially also scheduled for a championship <laughs> match at WrestleMania as well. Let's so go. Charlotte, Charlotte, let's talk about it. How do you feel about yeah. how she's made the transition from uh, her other life to this life and this sport? Well, I thought she did an incredible job the last time she was here. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what she brings to the table this time around. So you respect the skill set, but you don't um you respect how she's working, but is she there there? Is she is she able to stand toe to toe? Is she with on, you? on the level? Is she on the level? Does she she got the chops yet? You know what I'm saying? Well, she better be there there. <laughs> or it's gonna be and still <laughs> at WrestleMania. <laughs> There you go. Um, do you have do you have much of a relationship with Rhonda? Um, you know, where did you help her out at all early on? Did she ever seek your counsel? I mean, you are not to gas you up, but uh, you know this very well. We've spoken. You are regarded as one of the best in the world at what you do. Um, did you guys have any conversations on the first run? I really think Survivor Series. Um, I earned her respect. Uh, we had no build we had no story um it was a last minute thing and i think we went out there and killed it and just gave a taste of what her and i are capable of um so i'm looking forward to wrestlemania i don't expect anything less than what we already have delivered did she earn your respect like to ebro's point did you did you say hey you know because listen when people come up come from ufc and mma there's a big like they have this oh they're really credible and they're really dangerous but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're good or solid in ring did she earn your respect as an in-ring performer yeah absolutely I, and it's what she did that entire year i mean she had i mean she faced the bellas nia Jax, uh myself uh alexa bliss like she she performed with many different opponents at a high level and right. some, you know, that doesn't mean you necessarily have the best chemistry with everyone, but I think she went out there and for, you know, she reminded me of Kurt Angle. Wow. I'm not saying, okay. I mean, just, she picked it up so quickly. It, it's right. all about instinct and she has the instinct and that's half the battle. You know, you can be in this business for a long time and never figure out instinct. <sighs> That's in bars. my opinion, that's, that's, that's yeah, bars. and that, that that is interesting because you're sort of, you know, you you it was built into your DNA, but you didn't <laughs> but you didn't pursue it until a bit later. I mean, you had an entire athletic yeah. career prior to deciding to do this. Yeah, I mean, it was nowhere on the level that you know what Rhonda had accomplished. I played volleyball, but I think it was my competitive background and. You know, being team captain and the multiple store, the multiple sports that I did play helped me, you know, be where I am today. But I have nothing but respect for her. What she was able to do and the doors that she opened for women at that time had never been done before. True. And had there yeah. not been a Ronda Rousey, I don't think there would have been a women's revolution. Wow. 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 That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big take. And perfect to say is on our first day of Women's I, History Month right here. Yeah. Or so I like to say I'm the Ronda of WWE and she's the Charlotte Flair of MMA. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And it seems like the relationship is good today, which is awesome too. Well, we'll see. And we'll see where we land by the time we get to April. And, and now just, just, because, just because I'm saying nice things doesn't mean I'm not afraid to use the kendo stick again. <laughs> <laughs> like, say bye. Of course not.
Of course not. Charlotte, I saw you post. I was like, I'm on your Instagram page, and five days ago, you posted this beautiful tribute to your dad for his birthday, right? And we all know Ric Flair. He's a star, yep. of course, but the cutest, the cutest photos of you of just, I think you're maybe like three, four, and maybe five in these photos. Can you just, you know, I, just share some memories, some great memories, like these photos that you posted of, you know, your dad taking you to what it looks like. You guys look like a little show and tell or you guys were in school of just growing up. Yeah, I've never seen that one. Right? He, that's he, so that, cool. Wait, that's the, he has the title. <laughs> Yo, he has the world championship in school with you. Is that what that is, Charlotte? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. I mean, everyone else was like, my dad's a fireman. My dad's a <laughs> right. doctor. My dad's a lawyer. This is my dad, and this is his big gold belt. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. That's awesome. I, I still look at that photo, and I'm just like, how did I end up here? Just because like, I never really <laughs> understood what my dad meant to the industry until I started. And just to think, not that I took it for granted, but it was just like, oh, this, I mean, it was my dad and his job. It wasn't like I wasn't like my brothers who wanted to be him or follow right. in his footsteps. It was just, I'm daddy's little girl and dad, can I have this or right, right. Can I, <laughs> I really want this for Christmas. I want to trample. Like it wasn't, um, there was no talking of, you know, the future or the business. Like it's, I didn't uh, know anything about it. And you guys have an interesting relationship too, that I've gotten to observe firsthand in that it's, it's very loving and very open. You know, he is, he has become a very open book about his transgressions in life and some of the things that haven't, that he did not do perfectly. And, you know, you guys have also had a working relationship in WWE in which there are times in which I'm sure things were complicated. So like, how does, how do you, um, has it been complicated for you to sort of have this very public you know, loving but complex relationship with your father sort of in front of all of us to see? I think so. Yeah. Um, but it's always just remaining the course where I don't let people know what I'm thinking, whether I'm bothered or unbothered. And my dad's a lot more vocal. Um, <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's been that way. Re he, he's been that way recently over the last year yeah. or so with your relationship with other superstars, for sure. I've tried to control that, and I realize that I can't. So, um, whether my dad's my biggest cheerleader or what, I mean, he's going to say what he wants to say, and I can't persuade him any other way. Um, when you know it comes from a place, and it's of just love learning too. to have it's. it's it does. And it's, you know, he, he thinks he's doing right by me. And I know that no one in the world would do anything other than I mean, my, my dad would do anything in the world for me and how much he loves me and my career means everything to him. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to fight that battle anymore. So it, it, it's, it seems like actually a very regular thing that a lot of us deal with, which is a parent who we know we love and coming to the place of acceptance that they are going to say things whether to you or to other people that you're like, what are you saying right now? And I think we all find a, we, we probably all find a certain Listen, level man. of peace and happiness when you just, to your point, you just accept it. Listen, man. Yeah. I, now, I, when you got a daughter, son, you got a daughter, you're going to say <laughs> what needs to be said, no matter how anybody feels about it. <laughs> I don't know. So that they that. know, so that they know Somebody gonna say something if this gets crazy. That's all. That's well, my, sometimes you just gotta make sure it's said. My dad. It might be unpopular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your dad would agree. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. yeah her dad would. Her I mean, dad would definitely agree. He's always gonna go to bat for me. That's and right. I would expect any parent to go to bat for their talent. I think people just forget that it's a father daughter duo, um, and he's just protecting his nest. So what's up? What's left for you, Charlotte? Even though I don't think I need protecting. I'm like, Dad, I got this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, but you're still right. daddy's little girl, man. <laughs> I, I still you're still daddy's, daddy's little, little girl, girl, man. <clears throat> now, as, as we approach uh, the Garden Show this Saturday, and then, of course, a month later, WrestleMania the for two nights 
um, the first weekend of April. What's out there after this Ronda thing? What else is out there for you in WWE that you think sounds like really interesting? Who who is out there that you'd really like to 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 beat? Because you really have sort of etched your place in history at this point, and you've done it with a lot of people. Is there anything out there that really sits there as interesting for you? I guess it's the question is, who's there to beat me? Talk that talk. Like, <laughs> let's talk go. That talk. Let's go. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean that like, <laughs> sincere. Like, I, I think um, Rhea and Bianca are my targets next. Yeah. I, um, I expect big things. Not that Bianca hasn't already done big things. And I still look at my Money in the Bank match with Rhea Ripley as one of, you know, and it was a great match. I, I want to see, you know, what's next for the both of them. And when, it, you know, I've never had a, co a completely full program with either one of them. Like, I think Bianca, or not Bianca, Rhea's kind of been start stop. Yeah. Um, WrestleMania, yeah, Money in the Bank. It, we had the NXT, but that wasn't really followed up. You know, we had that WrestleMania match in the performance center during yep. COVID. And then I lost the title at TakeOver. So, there was really no story or build up or what happened after. And then when we got, uh, when she came to raw, it was the money in the bank match, but then it turned into a triple threat and I got cashed in on. So I, I still think there's a story left there and she's got to, she's got to climb this mountain. Both of them. Am I, am I, uh, am I wrong in saying that Bianca appears to me like, you know, the women's division in WWE can be a complicated place with a lot of personalities and a lot of different thoughts on things. Am mm -hmm. I wrong in saying that Bianca appears to be one of the most beloved uh, superstars in WWE? She seems to really kind of get along well with everyone. She does. But but both of them do, in fairness. Yeah, Rhea's a real uh, sweetheart, too. I believe that. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they are. And, um, you know, navigating through that is, you know, also not easy and they've you know they've done it gracefully and i think everyone from top to bottom respects them men and, and women would you say that Rhea and bianca are the future of the women's division of wwe yes a hundred percent now so i just those I two those two are my picks i don't work for wwe so uh, is it true all right Ric Flair and the WWE is that a conversation that people are having in the open about like, is he good with WWE? Is he not? I heard Charlotte, you have a fiance that works for another company. Like, are we allowed to talk about these things? I don't know this is a <laughs> WWE moment, but I mean, this is stuff people are talking about, Charlotte. So I don't. She drinks. From she her <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess we're not talking about what, this right now. What are you trying to say? I bring the drama? <laughs> well, not, I don't um, know if it's you per se or if it's just uh, sometimes these things happen around you. You fall in love with who you fall in love with. You're not in control of your father and his decisions and his relationships. This is all happening around you. I don't know if this is because of you. It's wrestling. I mean, right. to to who's to say my dad's never going to be back at WWE? Uh, everyone, you know, comes and goes, comes and goes. I think it's one of those businesses that you never know, you know, just because you're not good one day doesn't mean you're absolutely, you know, That's fair. great the next day. I've seen people come back that we never thought would come That's back. Right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's so, right. That's very true. I mean, especially with someone like my dad, who's been a part of the industry for what, 50 plus years <sighs> to say that Incredible. maybe he's never going to be back. That, that is wild to me. Yeah, um, I agree. I agree. With and, that. and and from the outside, it feels like there's no apparent real reason other than maybe some business dealings. Yeah. And for in terms of um, my fiance, I think everyone likes to dream and play with this like, oh, my gosh, he's over there and she's here and she's going to leave or he's going to leave or like, no, like. He wants to be successful. I want to be successful. We encourage each other. Like we don't, I'm not someone who, uh, what's the word? Like I don't tease things for attention. 
right or put things out there so i can get clicks or likes or attention and be like oh she's she's you know she liked an aw tweet like i like come on guys I, i've been the face of the women's division at wwe for how long now and my fiance made a decision what i think was best for him um but just because he's at another company doesn't mean there there needs to be drama behind it like How, let's, if let's anything talk about how you... we, we we want both companies to do well for competition and la last thing i have to ask you how is your spanish um charlotte because that is your man's first language for sure yes. are your are your bars up how how's this going <laughs> So, um, I can read um, it pretty well and understand. I just can't speak it. But does he ever communicate things to you? Like if he's on the phone with his family, are you able to pick up some of the things that are going on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially when he says gringa. <laughs> <laughs> The white girl over here. Like, I understand you. <laughs> um, Charlotte, okay. uh, will, she will be in action Saturday night at Madison Square Garden. Tickets available right now. Teaming up with Sonya against Naomi and Ronda Rousey. And then, of course, WrestleMania against Char uh, against Ronda Rousey in the big match for the title. We appreciate you for coming on. Charlotte. Great to see Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. See you soon. Later. <laughs>